Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Super Bubbles. The Super Bubble has been captured. It was strange. Yeah, it does kind of look like a cloud truck. Ford F-10 cloud trucks. We over it. Educating humanity? It's a good idea. A fellow YouTuber, who I enjoy thoroughly, Pink Safret 2, was like, Hey, what is this? UFO. Now I need to remind you off the bat. UFO means unidentified flying object. So anything that's flying and you can't fully identify it and is an object, that's a UFO, man. It doesn't necessarily mean aliens or... All right, now we got that out of the way. Pink is awesome. And she was asking, hey, what is this? What do you think it is? I was like, well, okay, pink ass. I'll give it a shot. I don't talk about UFOs or aliens. We over it. Educating humanity? It's a good idea. Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. It was a stunning photo of transparent UFO craft over Vienna, Austria. Incredible, transparent, geodesic-shaped UFO over Austria. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, most of the other space shit, I'm sorry, Freudian slip, space ship. A lot of UFO photos you'll see do look like space shit. They look like when Greg Brady was trying to convince Peter Brady that a spaceship made out of paper mache aliens. Or something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time. Maybe I totally screwed up that three-act narrative in a comedic way. Wait. Shit. Words fail. Okay. So, yeah. I mentioned before. Pretty sure if you just look at the technology curve, notch improvements over the every three and a half years. Oh, well, hey, a lot of technology seem to be way behind. I believe they're probably kept in a vault for the good of national security. And we seem to be trapped between maximized real tech and a scarcity economic model. And uh, we got to make a choice. I'm guessing it's a ship with a atomic scrambler. Witness, I'm a resident of Vienna in Austria. And when I was on the balcony... I saw this huge transparent vehicle floating above the clouds for about two minutes. I grabbed my phone, Galaxy, Samsung, SX5, S5. I put the X in there, Freudian slip. And after I took a photograph of it, the vehicle was gone. It was strange. Yeah, it does kind of look like a cloud truck. Ford F10 cloud trucks. Can you imagine if we took a step to technology like that? We gave up war. That'd be awesome, huh? We could explore the universe, our solar system, colonize. All we'd have to do is give a war. And this is interesting that the CIA supposedly reported a couple days ago that like 80% of all UFO sightings in the 50s and 60s and 70s were our crafts. Which doesn't surprise me at all. I believe the technology curve is far greater than we know. And most of it is hidden in the name of national security. And we need to keep the greatest technologies under wraps in case we go to war. Which is pretty lame. But hey, that's our country's middle name right now. Pretty lame. It's not the people, it's the politicians. You know, the people are getting worn down. It's probably where all the James Webb Space Telescope money went. Designing the cloud truck, F-110 cloud truck, built Ford Tough. So thanks to Pink and Educating Humanity, I definitely think this photo is amazing. The light, it's got the light bending features where it adapts and it chameleonizes to its surroundings. Like I said, I've actually never covered a UFO story before, but um, photograph is pretty cool and is almost exactly how I imagine spaceships would look like today. Those ion engines, if you put your face in front of an ion engine, would, would it melt off or would anything even happen? All right, God bless everybody. Hopefully you're having a great new year.